If you or anybody you know is still struggling with the fact that cops and prosecutors and judges are as corrupt as the day is long as they initiate their tyrannical actions and revenue generating schemes on the unsuspecting masses, then you have to watch this unbelievable video in its entirety. <laughs> Hey, before we get into this video, let's be honest about something. You'll probably never need the seatbelt portion of this or the window breaker, but I've always needed a bright, reliable flashlight and a portable power bank. This thing will charge your cell phone from zero to 100% no problem, and this charge lasts forever. I haven't even charged this thing for about two months now. If you don't have the sun, because it is charged by the sun, if you don't have the sun, you can plug it into any outlet and you've got a ready source of power anytime you need it. Plus this bright ass emergency flashlight with all these ridiculous, cool flashing modes. My link for your massive discount is in the description below and believe me, you're gonna want a couple of these things. March 2013 in the city of Electra, Texas. My wife pulled over to the side of the road so we could switch drivers. Before we could finish, Electra City Police Officers Matt Wood and Gary Ellis pulled in behind us. I do you too quick. All right. Sorry, Sorry I gave you your ID with you. Officer Matt Wood goes to the other side of the van. and opens the door. Does it matter that I wasn't driving? Uh, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
I'm just asking. You, you know that I'm right, and I'll tell you everything. I'm not going to be part of it. Of course. Wood and Ellis issued me a citation for an offense they were both certain I had not committed. Just one more warning. You know that you... One more warning. Are you getting a car? You're fucking late. All right? All right. Give me the ticket. I told you before, and I'm going to argue out here. It was of course. All right? Now leave. Two false citations simply because I verbally objected to their unconstitutional search of my car. To be sure I did not operate a motor vehicle in the state of Texas that night, my wife continued driving. You need to leave. Wood marked on the citation that no search had taken place. Most importantly, the citation stated that a video was taken. I requested the video and received it at the pre-trial hearing. Todd Greenwood gives me a DVD with a copy of the police dash cam video. This is my copy, right? Uh, yes. This is your copy. Perfect. Let's go watch it collectively. It's your copy after you leave with it. But until then, I'd like us to watch it together. That's the standard. That's what we normally do. I mean, this is my copy now, right? Whether I share it with you or not. No. You have your own copy. Yes, it is. Uh, it, I'm going to give you the copy. You already have given me the copy. You're, you're interpreting the language I just used to say that uh, I I've just given you the copy. I asked you if this I'm was my I'm not going to get into that. If, I would appreciate if we all watch it together. Okay, I wasn't going to... And then we can make a determination. It, it, I can make a determination. It's rather long, and I wasn't going to watch the whole thing. I basically just want to make sure that it's from the start to the end. Here's what I'm going to have to do, sir. I'm going to have to go get the police to bring me another copy so I can watch it. Okay. I don't want to do that. I don't normally give DVDs. I've agreed to do that because you were blind your letter. So I, I'm willing to provide you with a copy of the DVD, provided that we can all watch it together now, and then you can take it with you. Those yeah. are your conditions. All right. If you don't have, if you don't like that, I'm going to have to call the police chief back over here. Okay. Okay. For what? So let's just go ahead and watch it together. And then uh, you I'm, can have that. Copy. You'll be the first. I've I already. Okay. First yeah. of all, let's make this clear. I already have a copy, and I will share it with you. We can look Let's at it together. Let's make this clear. You don't make the conditions here. I do. Okay. okay. I have a copy. You already gave it to me. It's in my computer. No, you yes, don't. Yes, it is. Because I just said you don't, and you don't make the conditions here. Now, do you have a problem with that? Who you call the judge in, please? You're free to go talk to the judge if you want to. Judge, would you come in here, please? Why don't you go get her instead of making her come in here at your beck and call as though you have some direct power over anyone in this location? That's her chamber. You can go talk to her. I am. I'm, I'm good. I'm beginning to understand why you have the charges you do. You seem to have some expectations about public entities and, and your, your power over them, some controlling sense. And why is your boy here to witness this? Isn't today a school day? That's my business, not yours. You're, you're right about that, but let me put it this way. Render the DVD back I to you. I will me. not. That is my... You may call the police and get your own copy if you wish. All right, this is an ex parte... This we, need is, call, we need to call the bailiff. All right. I'm sorry, this conversation should not be happening without both of us present. That's why the door is open. Would you call the chief? Yes. Would you rather do this in the office with the door closed? No, I would not. I would not. Instead of I'd rather be doing it out here. This is why I brought the boy, so he can see how this works. Hey, is chief there? Tell him I need him down here immediately. Please. Um, we have a gentleman in the office. I should need the chief here. Thank you. Get me right here. Okay. Okay. Are you, am I under arrest now? I don't know. It does, does it? On what charge would that be? 
I'm ready to proceed with the hearing, if you wish. I'll be out here at your leisure. Okay. Have a seat. Thank you. You bet. Electra Police Chief Johnny Morris arrived a few minutes later. Greenwood had a conversation with him with an easy earshot of the judge and us. That was inappropriate. The video showed everything I needed to win any trial. After making sure I had a safe copy of the DVD, I allowed it to be viewed on the judge's computer. Greenwood wanted to chat about what was on the video in my version of the events, and I agreed. After listening to my side of the story, Greenwood gave me some advice. Let me tell you how this would have worked in the 80s, or the early 90s. There would have been no audio. You would have been in a small town that didn't have audio or video equipped, and there's still some, if you go towards Lubbock, that don't. You would have been here, we wouldn't have had an audio or video to look at, and the officer, if you had pressed it the way you are now, pressed your rights, the officer would have taken the stand and testified that you laid hands on him. Okay? And a few of them who are worse than Ellis, in your opinion, Ellis or Wood, some of those guys out in West Texas, what they would have done is they would have put you on the ground in front of your family, handcuffed you, let you spend the night in jail, then they would have said it was because you put hands on them. Your family would have all been witnesses in your favor at trial, but the officer taking the stand in a small rural community would have gone, the jury would have gone with those officers more than likely. And even if they didn't, no one gives a damn because it's all, you're having to do all the work driving out there and doing all the heavy lifting. So either way they would have won. My bottom line, and this is nothing to you except a little preaching, is I get, I get clients in your position, you don't win. The, the old expression is, you may beat the rat, but you don't beat the ride the ride to jail, there's some bad people out there and they wear badges and they wear badges so they can get away with it and they will bend you up and at the end of the day, unless you've got real good evidence against them, you're not going to get their badge. You may get worse than that, so be careful, okay? I'm going to ask you a question I don't want you to answer. Do you have a criminal history? The reason I would ask you that question is because if you go to a trial without an audio or video and you're in your situation and somebody was wrongfully arrested, and you have a criminal history, you're going to lose because they're going to believe the officer and not the guy with the conviction. And you're not even from that town. And the officer is and goes to Sunday school with the people on the jury. In small rural communities, that's how it works. You ever seen the movie Deliverance? It's not quite that bad, but that kind of gives you a picture. All right, so be careful when you get outside of the, of the suburbs, outside of the donut, because when you are, it's a different world. People, you know, when they're from the suburbs, when they're, they don't necessarily realize when you... What's written down in the Constitution is one thing, and the real practice is another. And you're just not in the same kind of protections you have in Allen and Plano and Richardson and places like that. So we do live in a jackboot society. Sometimes, and we shouldn't. Sometimes it's better just to, better just to stand there and let it all roll over. I'm going to leave the link to this full video in the description, and if you visit this guy, let him know what you thought about it and tell him High Impact Vlog sent you. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification icon, give him a thumbs up, share them with everybody you know, and don't forget to get on my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban video.